Hi, paper crafters. Welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today, I want to share a really fun project with you using a bundle from the 2018-2019 annual catalog called Animal Outing. There's the Animal Friends dies and there's the Animal Outing stamp set, which is a super cute set. And it's a retiring item. Uh, we're right now at the end of May of 2019 and we're about to see the bundle go. And bundles in a catalog, when they retire, even though the stamp set and the framelits or dies might carry over, they will no longer be offered at a 10% off. So I want to show you this along with the envelope punch board, which is my, one of my all-time favorite uh, tools. So today we're going to focus on this and we're going to use the Animal Expedition paper as well. This is really sweet paper. So a little rhinoceros and there's all kinds of little baby uh, animals here, alligators or crocodiles, uh, some birds and leaves, and there's a couple little frogs here. And on the back of these is a pattern. And there's one more piece I don't have here because I used it all to create this bag. And it on one side has sort of the giraffe um, idea, the the pattern and then here's where I've made a card that fits onto a good size bag that you can make uh, for a gift bag. I want to show you how to make a cute little box and I'm going to do it three different ways so that you have three options from the one box. So what you're going to need is your envelope punch board, your tear and tape, your paper snips and a piece of six by six paper and this is the one we're going to work with. So your envelope punch board has your stylus in the side and you're going to take your six by six paper and we're going to use our uh, numbers, our, our ruler across the top and we're going to pr put our first one at one and a half. And we take our stylus and put it into the channel and pull it down and punch. And then we're going to go to four up here and you're going to do the same thing. Stylus in the channel and punch. We're going to turn it 90 degrees and you're going to line this little pointy guy here up with this score line you just made. So we're not going to use these lines anymore and we're just going to use what we've just created. Whoops. And you want to make sure that you punch it. And same, we line it up with the score line we just made, do it here, and we do that all the way around. Okay, so now we're done with the envelope punch board except for our little ends. What we want to do, there's a corner rounder in here and we're just going to round our corners by poking it in the top and punching. Okay, and then we'll put our stylus back in and we'll get rid of our little bits here and we're done with our punch board. So now we're gonna take our piece of paper and we're gonna fold up everywhere on those lines. And I'm going to pull in my bone folder as well. So when you have it all uh, folded up, then what you're gonna do is take your paper snips and it doesn't really matter where you, which side you cut in on, but you're going to cut in along this edge here that has that flat end. So I'm going to cut, you're gonna to cut to your score line. So just up on the score line and you're going to do that on both sides here. And then you're gonna turn it 180 degrees and do the same thing. Next is just a little finishing touch that I like to do. So on these ends that you have just cut up, I just take a little bit off the end and it just allows it to fold a little bit better. So this you can just eyeball because we're not going to see the inside of the box. So just take it off on all four corners. Whoops, I missed one. There it is. Okay, you can just get rid of that. So now we're going to pull in our tear and tape and I'm going to put tear and tape on these flaps here. So on the side that I want to see on the outside is where I'm going to put my tear and tape. So I want to see my little birds and leaves on the outside. So my tear and tape is going to go along the straight edge and along the straight bottom. Then once you have the tear and tape everywhere, you're just going to take your pokey tool or your take your pick tool and you can lift off all of those bits. And then once you have them all off, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our sides like this and we're going to pull this up here. So the easiest way I've found to do this is to take the side that has the tear and tape 
and fold it in right along the edge. You can do the same on the other side. So right along this scored line here. And if it happens to stick, just pull it out. Try and pull it out. There we go. Okay, and you can just firm up those edges. And now this is where we turn the box into four different designs. So the first design I'm going to show you, I am actually going to fold back my sides like this. Okay, so I'm going to take, uh, you can just use snail here. You don't need to use tear and tape because there's not going to be as much stress on the box. So I'm just going to put that. So on this one, we're creating an open box. So I'm just going to put my snail everywhere and just fold it down. Okay, so you've got a cute um, addition of the coordinating pattern on the opposite side. And now we're going to create a tag. So I'm going to create this box and then I'm going to show you the other ones as well. So let's just finish this guy off. So I've pulled in and I'm going to use uh, some of the dies from the Animal Friends die set. So we are going to use our little giraffe and we're also going to use this piece here which cuts into the paper. So I have already done that. So I have a piece of Bermuda Bay on the back and a piece of Pool Party on the front and I've just cut that so it cuts perfectly and creates uh, that sort of a giraffe-like look on it. And so we're going different colors for the giraffe because I am going to make this into a baby card. So I'm gonna pull in my stays on and I'm going to stamp our giraffe on here. And then I'm going to take the giraffe die and put it right over top. And I'm going to take this to my big shot. And it helps if you um, need this to stay in place, uh, you can just put a little piece of washi tape on there. And I'm gonna take that to my big shot, my die cutter, and I'm gonna cut that out. Now I've also cut myself a vellum oval out of the stitched ovals and I've just created little lines here where I need to put it into my stamparatus and I've already lined up my stamps here and so I'm just going to put use a magnet to hold that down and I'm going to stamp welcome little one so I'm just going to ink up my stamp stamp it down and I'm using the feature where we have both the front and back and I'm using stays on because I'm uh, stamping onto vellum and vellum has a plasticky surface and so the stays on is actually going to dry and be permanent on there. So I'm just going to stamp that and then I'm going to clean off my stamps and I will put the stamparatus away. It's time to decorate our box. First thing we're gonna do is glue down our giraffe and I've put just a little bit of snail on the back of him. Glue him down onto the vellum. And I'm doing that first because I wanna be able to see where I can put glue through my vellum here. And I'm going to use some liquid glue for that just so that it sticks really well. I'm gonna put it everywhere that I have that giraffe and I'm going to put it right over top here. And you can cover up all of the dots go and we'll just let that um, dry for just a moment and I'm going to put a hole in the corner using a 1 8 inch hole punch that we don't carry any longer and then I'm going to just tie a ribbon in the top and this is our metallic edged gold ribbon it's ivory and gold and I'll put that in the top and I'm just going to knot it just so that it has a nice little knot going off to the both sides and I'll trim off the ends. I could have used a little shorter piece probably. Then I'm just going to put a few of our gold metallic pearls on top here just to liven up and give it a little bit of shine over here. And then I'm just going to take a little piece of tissue paper sort of in a coordinating color I'm going to put that in so you could have this as a little baby gift and instead of attaching this anywhere you could attach it on the front like this straight or I was thinking about just tucking it inside here so that it will just pop out of the top and then you'll have your little gift inside. 
Okay, so there's our first one. Now I wanna show you two other ways that you can make this box rather than just folding back. So here's our first one. I've used the crocodile paper this time, made the box exactly the same, and I've rounded two of the tops. And all we're going to do is we're just going to cut it and turn it straight into a box. I'm gonna take some of the berry burst ribbon this time and just knot that all the way around it so that they can just slip it off if they want. Give it a tight tie, as tight as you can. Of course, when you have your gift item in here, it'll be a little easier for you. There you, go. you could also put a little glue dot on there if you want. And then we're just going to put our Wild About You right through there. So I've taken the Wild About You, which is in the stamp set as well, and I've taken the Pretty Label Punch and I've punched it two times, cut it in half, and, and bordered it on both sides. And I'll tie it one more time. And I probably could have uh, not knotted it the first time and just knotted it here. That would have worked really well too. Okay. There's my next one. And I'm just gonna trim off that end too because it's gotten a little bit frayed. So there's your second version. And then here's our third version. So this is another one I've created with the paper. This one with the little frogs on it. And I've got the leaf showing. And I have not bothered to uh, round the corners on this one. And these are just going to fold in. You're going to put your item in. Gonna, they're going to fold in. And then we're going to match up this guy here with a point. And if you wanted to round it off, you could. But we're going to do the point, And then I'm going to put a hole punch in the middle. Okay, so I'm just going to hole punch that. I've got a piece of our 1 8 inch grow grain call me clover which matches one of the greens here and I'm just going to tie this in a knot and the easiest way I've found to make my bow so my tails are going the proper way is I make my loop. I'm right-handed. I make my right loop first and then I come around from the back around it and I pull through that hole at least one of your tails will be going the right way. Okay, so then we have our bow. And then I've taken for this one, I've done the thank you big time and used our one and three eighths inch scallop and then the one and a half inch circle punch and then another one and three quarter inch circle punch, berry burst and lemon lime twist. This is the call me clover. And to get those leaves is this die right here. So I cut those three times and put it in behind. And I just have some dimensionals on here. And I'm going to place that right on the front of the box. Okay, so there's your three options. So you have one where it ties on the top. You have one where it just uh, knots on the top with your tag. And then another one where it just is an open box with the pattern paper in behind. I hope this idea gave you a little inspiration and you're gonna give one of these a try. Try all three of them. You can purchase any of the supplies I used for this design by clicking on the links in the description below. And if you live in Canada and you don't yet have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal. You can also find me at www.designwithjoe.ca. I post regularly and it'd be great to have you join in. If this project tickled your creativity, please like it below and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more great ideas. And if you're curious about having your own paper crafting business, I've got a growing team of Creative Canucks in Canada. We're ready to welcome you. Contact me today. Thanks very much and have a great paper crafting day.